I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today I thought it might be fun to do a little video that will help you to do Valentine's on a dime. We're going to do Valentine's Day the Dollar Tree way. Let's go see how we do this. Valentine's Day in my book should just be something sweet and cute and it shouldn't be expensive and it shouldn't take a lot of time and people shouldn't get all wrapped up in oh let's go out to dinner and let's buy expensive flowers that eventually die and let's buy hundreds of dollars worth of jewelry you know what that's just all stuff I all have right? it so easy <laughs> you do don't you it's just all stuff I would much rather have my family members make me a handmade card out of my bin of paper and stickers and tape than a $200 necklace. I really mean that because I am not a jewelry girl. I am not an expensive stuff girl. I much rather would like people to think and get a little bit creative. So I thought with that in mind, I was going to go ahead and take a trip to the Dollar Tree. We all have a Dollar Tree in our neighborhood if we live in the United States. And there are Dollar Trees in Canada and in other parts of the world, I'm sure. But I have a Dollar Tree in my neck of the woods, and I went there, and I am not sponsored by Dollar Tree. I am just doing this video because I thought it was a really great idea. We're close to Valentine's Day, and I go into Dollar Tree, and they had a bunch of stuff. So we're going to think outside the box of chocolates, and we're going to make our own sweet Valentine treats. And in order to do that, I went to see what they had at Dollar Tree. So you can see all the things on the table with the exception of the mason jars. I purchased at Dollar Tree um, and this crinkle filling I did not get that at Dollar Tree I got that at Michaels but it was 50% off and it was less than two dollars these little candy cups the same thing these were like 89 cents at Walmart so you can take that for what it's worth all I used here to construct all of these things were paper uh, tape and scissors and this shred so super simple. You're going to need some containers. And I was thinking, what can we do? Well, the first thing I saw, of course, was this candy. All right. They had a massive selection of candy. These are small bags. So it's really nice because you can pick up several different varieties. And it is really good chocolate. And it's tasty. You know, it's Palmer's brand. This is a brand we see oftentimes at Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter. Um, yes, it's you know, it's holiday chocolate. It's not super quality, but you know what? It's still pretty good. It's it's very tasty, and it's a treat, okay? This is a sweet present that we're going to put together for our friends, for our kids' friends, for our family, whatever. So I got a variety. I got a, a couple of bags each of all the different kinds. Caramel, these are solid chocolate, these are solid chocolate, but these are like the little disgusting chalky hearts that I personally can't stand. <laughs> Um, but these are wrapped in foil, and they look like these little chalky hearts that my kids like. They had peanut butter, cookies and cream, and they had these Russell Stover marshmallow hearts, which I was really surprised to see. There are six little mini marshmallow hearts in here, and you can unwrap these, and you can make amazing gifts that people are going to love to get, and they're going to think they're so cute. I also got a couple of containers of these Twin Dragon fortune cookies because I thought fortune cookies were a cute idea for Valentine's Day. And that with that in mind, Dollar Tree also had these little Oriental or Chinese takeout containers that were Valentine's themed. They came two to a package for a dollar. And you know, how fortunate is that? <laughs> Get it? Okay. What I also did was I took some of these Chinese takeout containers and I filled them up. There's a little bit of shred in the bottom and I put some of those candy hearts in there along with some fortune cookies because fortune cookies and Chinese takeout containers, they go together. Oh, and what you don't see over here is a bag of these luscious lips. They're just solid chocolate, but they're in the shape of lips and I thought they were super cute too. So another one I did, more shred, more chocolate, and some of those marshmallow hearts that I did not unwrap. Um, you know, you can decide how fancy or how simple you make these, but I thought these were really cute. You can use these throughout the year. It doesn't even have to be for Valentine's Day. So if you have leftovers, you can just set them aside. What else can I put my Valentine present in? A mason jar. 
Here I took a pint jar and I unwrapped six of those Russell Stover's marshmallow candies. I put some of that tricolor shred in the bottom of the jar. I put some hot cinnamon candies as a layer in there and then I topped it off with one package's worth of the marshmallow hearts. You can leave it like this and give it to your valentine. You can put a doily or a piece of fabric. You can tie it with a ribbon. You decide how you're going to give that. You could put it in a little gift bag. It'll be super cute. I also filled another jar full of hearts. So that's a jar of hearts. And it's just an assortment of these chocolate candies that I have here. I put shred in the bottom of the jar just to make it look pretty and to give it a little cushion. And then, of course, I just filled a little jelly jar full of those conversation hearts. It looks really cute. And, you know, it's a little something more substantial than a cardboard box full of candy. Dollar Tree also had these really cute tins. And so what I did here, I'm going to take this off for you, was I made it, you know, just like you do at Christmas time when you make a tin of goodies, um, I kept it simple. I know there's nothing homemade here, but this was something I just wanted to do. How could I go into Dollar Tree and make something really sweet um, for somebody if I didn't have a lot of money? And um, none of us have a lot of money, let's be real. Mm -hmm. But I put some shred in the bottom of that tin. And by the way, I used less than an, a bag of shred. And I put shred in almost all of the containers that you see here, and I still have a ton left over. But I... I just put some of those little mini cupcake liners all around and I put two little pieces of chocolate in each and I think that's really cute. You could put oh, a little uh, piece of scrapbook paper cut in a circle on the top as a liner. It will look super cute and fancy. And then they get a tin that they can keep. Um, I think it's sweet. So for you know a couple of bucks you can make a lot of little gifts. Here's a larger tin. I put the fortune cookies in here along with their shred in the bottom pretty much of everything. It helps give a nice cushion and it makes it look fancy and really, really, you know, festive. And I put an assortment of those chocolates in there as well. So the next thing, which I think is really cute. Now this isn't an original idea. I saw someone else do this and I thought it was really cute. You know, a lot of times you go to like the Oh, Borders Books or uh, Barnes & Noble. We have a local chain here called Books A Million. They always have these really cute little candy gifts at the holidays. A lot of times they come in these little plastic organizers that you can find at the hardware store. You can also get these like at the craft store, Walmart, or you can even get them at the Dollar Tree. Um, these happen to come from Tractor Supply and they were on clearance for a dollar. So... In here I have conversation hearts and cinnamon hearts. I didn't use any of the dividers. But how cute is that? You can give that to a guy. You know, if you have a boyfriend, you don't know what to get him. You know, this is a little something extra and special. He can use a container for screws and nails. He can use a container for screws and nails later. Here's another idea I had. This one has the cinnamon hearts, some sour jelly beans, and these wafer cookies you can get at the Dollar Tree. You can get them in a lot of places. They're about a buck a package. But one package of these wafer cookies can go a long way because there's only three of each kind in here, but they fit super perfect. And you can tie a ribbon. I didn't tie a ribbon on all of these because I wanted to show you. And here is a larger one. For the one you really love. Yeah, but that's chock full of chocolates, cookies, cinnamon hearts, and jelly beans. Molly said they're super hot. Mm. Just like you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> But that's an idea that you can use. Um, these, if you go to the Dollar Tree, you can find these in the hardware section or near the auto. They have like the hardware and the automotive section kind of in the same aisle. Look for these in that area. And then they had these little bundles of Tootsie Pops. Okay, that just screamed bouquet to me. Now these come wrapped in cellophane and they're taped up at the bottom. So I untaped them and I retaped them with cellophane tape, only I cut a couple of slips in the bottom of a doily and I slipped the bouquet over the doily. So now you have a little Tootsie Roll Tussie Mussy. And this one I tied with some ribbon just like that. And then if you want, you can do these individually as well. So if you're going to do these like for your child's classroom or what have you, you still have plenty of time to do that. And I think there are six in a package. So if, you know, you can just go and spend less than $10. They also have the doilies at Dollar Tree as well. 
And then the last thing that I did, which I thought was really special, this is actually the very first thing I did. <laughs> because I wanted to make, you know, you're not gonna go to Dollar Tree and find a heart-shaped box of chocolates that's gonna knock someone on their feet, you know, on their, well, off their feet. So how do you fix that? The Dollar Tree does have packages of shirt boxes, and that's what this is. They come three to a package, so I picked up a package of shirt boxes and I covered the box with some appropriate Valentine's themed scrapbook paper. And then I filled it up with little mini cupcake liners and I put a wrapped chocolate in each one and then a couple of these marshmallow chocolates in there as well, along with some of these lips. I think this is really, really sweet. And if you have like a daughter who's in high school and they are sweet on someone this is something nice to give that doesn't cost a ton of money they can use their allowance to buy all of the things for it you don't have to do the variety that i have done you can do only one thing or you can do two or three but nonetheless you can do this for less than five dollars um you can do it for a couple of bucks if you like because if you just use two kinds and then you get a package of boxes. Use what you have on hand. If you've got scrapbook paper or construction paper or tissue paper, you can make this really sweet. What I did do on the bottom here is I had some glassine paper in my stash and I just lined the bottom. But of course, you need to make this the way you it makes you happy. So those are some of my ideas of things that you can make very inexpensively and you can get all of the supplies at the Dollar Tree. And like I said, I'm not sponsored by Dollar Tree, but I do love the Dollar Tree, as I know many of you do. So I thought it might be fun to go ahead and do a little video showing just what you can do very inexpensively for Valentine's Day. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you got some ideas of things you can make if you're still looking for ideas of what to make. And uh, I hope you try it, and I hope you love it. And until next time, happy Valentine's Day! For joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Uh, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!